Hello? Hi, friends. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. Ah! <laughs> Hi, friends. I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. Hello, hello. I'm so excited to be back in the studio with you guys today. Welcome. Um, today, we are going to be doing kind of a similar thing as last stream. I want to paint some edges of some paintings. I want to do a painting actually this stream because I, we did not get to it last stream. I've been chugging away in the studio. I've been doing lots of edge paintings off of stream. I did some varnishing. I varnished a couple pieces that we were painting the edges of on stream last stream. I'm so obsessed. Um, I'm absolutely in love. This one is absolutely stunning. I think I might list this one on my Etsy. I really want to like get this one sold and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So I might take a leap and do that um she's gonna be still have to figure out a fair price um but i'm absolutely obsessed with this one and i've been varnishing a few others and painting the edges and everything just looks so good and i just feel so good and i'm just so proud and happy with everything and i'm so excited to be here with you guys again today i have been loving doing these and i'm so excited to get a few in this week before i move packing is in full swing um I'm very, very excited. Two years ago today, right? Yeah, I was moving into my freshman year dorm and going to orientation, which is just so crazy to imagine. And now we're here going into my third year, and I'm just so, so excited. But welcome, friends. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I can't wait to spend the afternoon with you. Hi, Demon. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a good day. Um... But yeah, I'm very excited to be here with you all today. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to hop right into it. I think we're going to paint some edges of some paintings first and then get into a painting. Um, yeah, uh, today I spent part of my day working on a commission. It is quite out of my comfort zone, but it's actually coming along. Um, it was in its messy, ugly, am I doing, did I make a mistake? stage for a bit today but i'm happy with it now and i'm excited to keep working on it it's a commission for my mom um we're sending it to one of our family friends so i'm very excited to be working on this very out of my comfort zone but i'm actually very happy with it um still has a bit to go a little want to like smooth out the layers a bit more do a little like sand detailing on the beach but yeah i'm very very happy with it and i have it it's on um painting like acrylic paper acrylic painting paper but it's taped to cardboard so that i could get the nice edges and also easily move it around instead of like taping it to my desk or something um but yeah this is my first time doing a gouache painting in like a month so it has been very fun to do that i refreshed oh actually i did not snap this on right but i refreshed my gouache palette um like a month ago like i just like went through and sprayed everything and mixed everything so now it's not all clumpy anymore and now it just looks so good and it works so much better because it got super dried out and then just like it was really hard to work with and like just it's just so perfect now i'm just so happy with it um but yeah i am really still loving gouache i think it's so fun it's i really like enjoy the medium um but yeah, we have a lot of fun things going on. Uh, a little promo, hold on, sorry. I'm trying to make sure, I'm like being extra careful with like sealing this up now because I've put so much work into like making it all fresh again. <laughs> um, but yeah, a little shop update. We have one tote bag left, which is absolutely incredible. If anyone has been keep, like eyeing the green tote bag, I would get it now. Um, get yourself a pencil pouch too to get ready for back to school. Any support on my business means so much and one tote bag left is absolutely incredible. I'm working on figuring out what the next design is going to be for the tote bag because I'm going to do another run but with a different painting on it. Um, I'm between two right now. I might do a poll or I might have my sister decide or I might decide. We'll see. Um, but I'm very excited and so, so grateful. So yeah, one tote bag left. Uh, go check that out on my Etsy. I also have some... Um, other amazing things on my Etsy. I have pride merch and stickers and all of that and prints and 
like I said, tote bags and original paintings and pencil pouches and cards. So a lot of amazing stuff on there. If you guys want to check it out and support it, it would mean the absolute world. I leave this weekend to go back to school. So support on the business means so much to me always, but especially right now. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get some work done today. Um, yeah. I hope everyone is having an absolutely amazing day. Um, Okay, I don't know what I want to work on first. I don't, I haven't really made decisions. Also, everything's kind of a mess. I like in my head meant to clean up before stream. It didn't happen, but in my defense, I'm moving. Every, like literally my room is the messiest it's ever been. It is atrocious. There's a dollar on the floor. I think I mentioned that last stream. <laughs> And my favorite pen. I should hold on to this for packing. Okay, we have plenty of paintings to do the edges of today. So we will definitely be doing that. I'm bending right into the game. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit so it's not like a maze for me to get around. better I can walk around now perfect I have been trying to be really good about wearing my smock my apron been doing a good job <laughs> it's actually like really helpful I don't know why I like go in and out of phases of wearing it but I've been doing good about it I have also I realized watching back the VOD yes like a few days ago um I wasn't at the notifications it wasn't playing for you guys i fixed that so any notifications that play now you guys can hear and i can hear them so I figured it out <laughs> uh, okay i am excited to finish this I'll show it on this one i'm very proud of it i like struggled with it for a bit but it's getting there it really is okay so i need to make piles because some of these paintings that are sitting over here have their edges painted they just need to be varnished so i'm going to start a new pile of paintings that need to be varnished i painted the edges of a few paintings yesterday so now it's all perfect and i'm like trying to mimic the dominant color of each painting also i started using um liquid flow acrylics instead of like just basic like you know more textured acrylic and it has been applying so much easier so much smoother so i'm going to try to continue that because it has just been so much easier and quicker to get it painted and covered so that's cool still have one edge to paint of this one i never finished that after stream so we'll do that today um this one needs to be varnished i did like a teal turquoisey color on this one i finished that right yeah okay and then i have a pile over here that you guys can't see this with edges that need to be painted I just varnished this one yesterday. I made a video about it on Instagram and realized I was holding it upside down, which is embarrassing, but it happens. Oh, you know what painting I really want to do the edges of today? This one. Oh shit. Okay. Um, this one I really want to do. Um, 
might bring this with me. I don't know. Too. I, this is like one of my original, original pieces of the series. Okay, until we start painting, I might just stay on this scene since I'm like showing it to you guys here. This is a recent painting, it is beautiful. So we'll do this one today too. It somehow like looks like it's already been polished. I need to get, I don't know if I've got a good enough photo of this one because I do want to get prints of this one. Welcome, welcome, friend. Okay. I need to check if I have some more with me. We have a decent stack going already. Oh, there might be... Oh yeah, this one needs to be varnished. I'm really good, I've been really productive today. That's amazing! Oh, I'm so glad to hear. That's awesome, homie. I'm doing so good! I'm doing really good. I'm very excited for this week. This week is crazy. I'm moving. <laughs> ah, don't fall. I know, I'm so excited. Wait, actually these two need to go in this pile. Okay, I think we have a good enough amount of paintings to paint the edges of, and then I can go around and find more if I run out today. Okay. You're packing this week too? I am. I am. Are you? You going somewhere? Yeah, I I have like most of the stuff packed. The main stuff I don't have packed yet is like clothes, which I'm still working on, which I can fit almost my entire wardrobe of stuff I'm bringing with me in a carry-on suitcase. Wait, demon. Wait, what the fuck? How did I not remember this? You- Oh my god! Wait, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry I did not recognize your name, but now I remember. I totally forgot to. <laughs> Hi, I hope we're doing good. Yeah, I don't know how I've done it. I really don't, but I've done it. Like, I didn't even, like, mean to do that. It's just that I need to bring the carry-on with me. So I was like, okay, what if I, like, tried to put my clothes in here? Um, and it worked. Oh, my God. I hate packing, though. It stresses me out so much. <laughs> like, so much. But it's fine. It's fine. We're trusting the process. Okay, I have a lot of paintings in this pile that are blue. So I don't know if I should do those first. Ooh, you have to ship all your stuff? Ooh. See, I get to just pack all my stuff in the car and drive it. Shipping sounds so stressful. I'm not looking forward to the um, inevitable laundry. 
No, yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> we have like a cart that I move all my stuff in. We actually just bought a new one because the wheel, the wheel snapped off the one I was using while moving out last semester. Um, so I bought a new one. So, but it like, <laughs> it like allows me to move in all my stuff into my room in three trips, which helps so much. Um, this one I might be able to do it in two. I don't know. I don't know. Um, at least, okay, at least it broke off like on the last trip. Like we were getting off the elevator with the last of my stuff. So it wasn't horrible, but it was still, oh my God. Hi Jay, how are you? Oh no, that totally makes sense, Demon. I applaud you. I like, that situation sounds so much more stressful than what I'm in. So that's putting it into perspective, like, Wait, actually, I could send it. It's on my phone. Um. Release the brainstorm. Yo! 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 I can't believe it was your jack. Yo, thank you so much for the raid. How are you? How is your stream? Welcome in, friend. I hope you're doing amazing. Oh, that means so much to me. How is your stream? What were you doing? Sort of the court. I've never heard of this. What is this? Welcome in, friend. I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you had an amazing stream. Welcome in, friends. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. My name's Liv. I am a artist. Um, I'm a painter. I'm a graphic designer. I'm in art school currently. I also have a YouTube podcast stream on Twitch. I do everything. <laughs> I also run a business. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but welcome in, friends. I'm so happy to have you here. Envy, I hope you had an absolutely amazing stream. Thank you so much for bringing your friends in here. What were you doing? How was it? I hope you had an amazing time. Of course. Thank you so much for bringing your family. Family? Bringing your community over here. I mean, it kind of is a family. I hope you're doing so, so good. Welcome in, friend. Um, I can actually find that cart for you if you want it though. The new one, not the one that broke. <laughs> um, I don't know if I favorited it. Is that a word? Oh my god. I don't remember the exact one I got. I have it saved on my phone, but my phone's acting as a camera. Here it is. Pretty sure this is it. Oh no, maybe that's not. Blah. If you want to DM me after stream, I can get it to you. Oh my god, I thought my OBS closed for a second. <laughs> um, I'm good, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm having an amazing day. Um, today we are doing a little bit of everything. Um, right now, I'm trying to get as many paintings, edges paint as I, painted as I can. I'm trying to get everything ready to go to collectors. So I've been working on painting the edges. So like all of it is nice and pretty and then varnishing them so that they're fully ready to go to their forever homes whenever that happens. Just because I am like going back to school. Um, so I won't be here for until like December. <laughs> so I just want to try to get things done and situated so that when I sell these paintings, they're fully ready to go. Um, it's just a nice way to like have everything very official and organized. And then we'll probably work on an abstract painting today. We might work on a commission. I don't know where I put that. Bro, my brain is sometimes so frustrating. Oh, it's over there. Um, I'm working on like an ocean painting commission for my family. So yeah, lots of fun things going on today. I think I'm so excited to have you here though. And if you need a raid and run, go take care of yourself, go nap, go do whatever you gotta do. I totally, totally understand. And I really appreciate you raiding here. It means so much, um, but yeah. Okay, so like I was saying, a lot of these paintings are blue. Maybe I should do the ones that have different colors first. I think I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna do, this one first, which is one of my older paintings. Um, God, that lighting's kind of dark. But this one is a part of like the series on the tote bag, if any of y'all know that one. Um, the green, I painted these three and that dark green one together. The dark green one is sold, um, but these are like a little mini series I did all at once. So they're very similar. I'll be getting dinner, but lurking. Best of luck. I hope creativity is your friend tonight. I appreciate you so much. Enjoy your dinner, friend. Have an amazing rest of your night. Thank you so much again. 
Okay. Hello. I think it was like a neon yellow, but it had neon green. This might have to do. Okay. Is this working? You know what? I think I need to raise you guys up. We're going on a little adventure. Sorry, angles are hard. <laughs> angles are tricky. I'm still learning. Let me know if the music is too quiet. Um, I tried to adjust it because it seemed a little quiet last stream, but let me know if I need to adjust it. This brush is not cooperating. I need to use a different one. so small I can paint the fourth edge. Just holding it and then I'll put it on my desk to dry.
glasses are falling down. This looks so Hi Ray, how are you? It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. I'm doing so good. We're currently painting the edges of some paintings. It's going very well. <laughs> Getting a lot done already. I hope you're doing well, welcome in friend. It's amazing, thank you so much, I appreciate it. so careful to make sure I don't get paint on my laptop like checking what fingers have paint on them so I can be careful oh my god <laughs> how are you doing Mary? I hope you're having a good day okay what have you been up to recently? um well, I'm moving on Saturday, so I've been packing a lot. <laughs> um, I've been working in the studio a lot, trying to get a lot of stuff done before I leave. Um, but I've kind of just been relaxing and soaking up my last couple weeks of stream, or er, stream of summer. Um, I beat Spirit Fair last night. I actually haven't talked about this on stream yet. I sobbed so hard. That is the most I've ever cried because of a game. I don't know if I've ever cried because of a game before. Um, it was incredible. 
And now I want to go through and do full completion because I only had 66% completion. Um, but yeah, that was incredible. But yeah, I've just been vibing, kind of just soaking up the last couple weeks of summer, reading, playing video games, painting a ton, um, and packing now. <laughs> Oh wait, okay. This actually has almost all of its edges painted. I just have to do the bottom one. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> okay. Also, I hope these angles are okay. I think it's okay. playing any games recently? Anything fun? edges don't fully match, but I think it's fine. That one's also the bottom one, so it works. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm excited to varnish this one, because I really want to see it pop back. Because I know it's going to like gain so much more once it's varnished. Anything left? This one might be fully empty. I tried playing Life is Strange. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would though. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's totally valid though. I actually just got all of the chapters of Life is Strange, so I have to go and play that. I tried- I thought about getting the second part of The Last of Us, but I didn't feel like spending 40 bucks. So I didn't get it. Okay, there was some left. Okay, that was smart. I just like not dumped it upside down. It worked. I don't really play any other games besides The Sims 4. The Sims 4 is an amazing game. <laughs> I love The Sims so much.
Are you excited for the FNAF movie? I really want to see it with my cousin. Yeah, I can't believe it's like actually gonna be kind of soon. I really want to see it. Like, it looks good and like, I don't know. I like found out about it through, um, oh, what's his name? Like a gaming YouTuber, cause he's in it. Um, I'm really excited to see it. I can't believe, um, what's his name? The guy that played PETA in Hunger Games is like the main character. What's his name? Oh my God. I don't know, but I'm really excited to see it. There, I, yeah, I don't know who I'm gonna see it with, but I'm excited. I don't know if there's enough paint in this bottle to last the entire painting. You know what? I also might sit. I usually hate movie, horror movies because it's stereotypical and boring, but FNAF though, I hate horror movies because they scare me too much. Um, <laughs> but FNAF is something that I will be lenient on because I really want to see it. I grew up playing FNAF. Like, ugh, I can't miss out. Hi, Brody. How are you, homie? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome in, friend. It's great to see you. absolutely amazing day happy birthday oh everyone wish Ray a happy birthday right now I hope you had an amazing day I'm so glad you got to spend it with friends that's amazing oh I'm so glad to hear you, Ray. Hell yeah. Spent two weeks in Japan. I hope you had an amazing time. Welcome back. 
Ugh, oh, I'm sure. The time difference must be crazy. I hope you're getting good rest. I would love to go to Japan one day. It looks beautiful. Like, such an incredible experience. I would eat so much sushi. And ramen. Any new games you've played recently? Um, like new release games or like new to me games? I haven't been playing too many games just because I was dealing with some hand issues and kind of took a huge break from my computer. I did just start playing Paleo though. That's been amazing. Um, yeah, I've been loving that. So that's a new game and a new game I'm playing. I also played through The Last of Us 1 this summer, um, or like part one this summer. But yeah, Paley is amazing. I've been loving that. Um, can't really think of anything else. I like, I have such a backlog, backlog of games in my library I just haven't played, but I really need to. Yeah. One more edge on this one, and then it's done. We've gone through three paintings already, I swear. Using four. Using this paint like actually makes the process so much easier. Like I might actually be able to get, probably not everything, but close to everything done. I still have paintings over there that need to be painted that we can do. I don't know if we'll do varnishing on stream because my laptop's on the desk I varnish on. I don't have another desk in here. I don't know. We'll see. Was it good? It's amazing. Um, I don't know if you've seen any gameplay of it. I'll probably be streaming it later this week, um, but it is so much fun. Um, I think, I don't know if you're asking about Palia or Palia or The Last of Us, but both were great. Um, Paleo is a new game, it's multiplayer, um, you have like a little plot of land, it's kind of like Stardew vibes, and, like Animal Crossing vibes, but it's like fantasy and you like go and like do quests for like townspeople and it's like you're building up your land and it's just so fun and like you can play with other friends and they can like come to your farm and stuff. Um, I guess it's not really a farm but they can come to your land. Um, it's really cute. I'm not far into it at all. Um, but it was like an early release a couple weeks ago and then it was released to the public and it is so cute and so much fun. And it's free, <laughs> which is amazing. It's like one of the original 
original paintings in my first series. Technically my second abstract series, but my first real abstract series that like evolved into all of this. Um, I'm re-releasing prints of it soon. I'm trying to do like a big print run with like a lot of my paintings and a like variety of different color schemes and vibes because I feel like my last release had a lot of the same color and I didn't even consciously realize that until someone commented it and like I just want more versatility than that so I'm trying to make an effort. I have a lot of like new products I'm trying to get out like a lot of new prints I want to do but I also want to do new tote bags and notebooks and I'm trying to figure out like what takes priority like what I should do first because I can't afford to do it all at once um I like really want to get more tote bags so I might do that but I don't know we'll see Accidentally close all my tabs and Safari. It looks like it. So I need to plug my laptop in. Oh no! Quiet. Just checking in on my end to make sure everything's looking good. Cool. Alright. Um I don't know what color to do for this one. Like I think probably blue edges. Orange would be too much because that's like kind of like the highlight. So I think I do dark blue. I don't think I have enough in this bottle to do the dark blue. Um Also, I did date this one when I made it. I'm proud of that. I didn't paint the edges though. <laughs> Chandler, hi! How are you? Welcome in. I had to restart Twitch because it was way too delayed, but I'm looking forward to seeing you play it. I appreciate that, Ray. That's so sweet. I'm sorry it was delayed. But yeah. Thank you. I love this one so much. Um, I'm so incredibly proud of this the last painting I just made, or my most recent painting. Um, I've made some absolute bangers this summer. <laughs> this one included. Um, I, I think I have a print quality photo for this one. Um, but I think we're gonna make another painting. You're, oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, my voice is just soft because this mic isn't great. <laughs> or not bad, but it's different. Um, so my music's up too much. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I thought I had the levels right, but I guess I didn't. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing good. It's great to see you. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe we'll work on this one today. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> such a good stream last week. I'm so glad you think so. I had such an amazing time. Um, it was absolutely incredible. <laughs> I've been having so much fun like showing people the clips from that stream. Um, and I am gonna upload like the full video to YouTube. Um, but yeah, last week was incredible. I'm so grateful. Oh my god, it was so hilarious. I'm so glad you had fun. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. The clips, uh, I just posted it on TikTok and Instagram. I don't know if you saw it, but I mean, you saw it live, but <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Okay, I think we can call this done. Yeah, there's like a trickle left, not even. Um, I don't know what color, oh, we have a full bottle. Not a full bottle, but we have more. Okay, good job, Liv. I might lighten it a little bit. I might do like a mixed color for this. You know what? While I'm working on the palette, I will put you guys here so you can see it. I 
actually doesn't match at all. Actually, I think the deep blue just works. Do I mix some purple in it? <gasps> oh, you know what? We have an indigo. I love y'all saying hi to each other. It makes me so happy. Um. Yeah, I think the indigo might be the winner. Let's see. Cause like some of this is so deep that I feel like you need yeah oh my god oh that's so perfect <laughs> okay let me it is a little blue maybe that's from what i have on the brush okay i'm completely changing the color that i put on the palette yeah it's indigo oh yeah baby okay sorry i'm I'm gonna mix it with like a violet. Oh, that's perfect. Sorry, I know you can't see this well right now. Okay. Ray, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Should probably move the paintings that are here. I'm worried like I'm gonna splatter paint on them. And we do not want that happening at all. Okay. Um, how do you decide what color to make the edges? I typically pick the dominant color in the painting. Um, I do want to experiment with doing like the secondary color. So like in this one, doing the edges like bright orange, but I kind of want it like it just to seem like the paintings like kind of just like continuing over the edges and not like attracting too much attention, but just like kind of like isn't like blaring canvas white. So like for this one, um, it's like a neon green so I did the edges like that same type of green so that it's like continuing the piece and not kind of like interrupting it um but yeah I typically just like find the 
dominant color or kind of like the most like subtle color I don't know if that makes sense um like for this one there's so many colors going on in this but like the main color is light blue I'm also holding this upside down so I mixed like a light blue just to kind of like hold it together yeah ideally like during the process I would have painted the pa edges um I've been trying to do that more so that it does just fully blend but it has been fun to kind of just like pick the colors um but yeah it's always the dominant color within the piece I, agree. I liked that question that was fun <laughs> No, I love when, like, at getting questions about my process, so that means a lot. Ow! I just tried to put this in my mouth and it poked my face. <laughs> I tried a bit of an earlier time today just because I wanted to beat the sunlight because last time, last stream, like the sun came in and I could barely work. Um, so I'm just like experimenting with different times. I'll probably do 3 p.m. tomorrow. Actually, I might do earlier tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. My hands have a rainbow on them. <laughs> like all the different colors we've used today. Now I have to let the edges paint dry before I flip it over. I'm gonna take my phone off real quick. Just to check stuff. This like streaming from my phone thing or like streaming my camera from my phone is absolutely amazing. It is so convenient. Like it has like eased like all of my frustrations from like having to connect my phone on my PC. Like when we were having all those problems, like ugh, it is perfect. I'm so happy with this like setup. Also, we're like 20 followers away from 2800. We were talking about this last stream, but that is so damn cool. Like, thank y'all so much. That is so exciting. I think once we hit 2,800, I'll start doing the push to 3,000. We'll see. I have some ideas. I have a hope. I might make an announcement in the Discord about it. I don't know. I have no idea if it would happen. Like, that's actually like so soon. There's no way. There's no way, actually. Okay, never mind. Um. I think the more reasonable goal is 3,000 by the end of the year. We'll see if that happens. It would be so cool if we hit it by my three year anniversary because it's on the 30th. My three year anniversary on the 30th of September, um, hitting 3,000 followers would be crazy. I don't think it would happen though. I'd like, 
you know a homie can dream, but like being reasonable. I've got it. You need to add puppets to puppets. Oh God. <laughs> a puppet show and have the puppets talk and paint. That's actually such a funny idea. I love that. I don't know if I'd ever do that, <laughs> but that's so fun. Liv's puppet show. I'm worried that I'm exposing my crazy. Don't worry at all. You saw me last stream. <laughs> I love your crazy ideas. Please don't ever worry about that. You're not allowed to worry about that at all. I love the crazy. Nuh uh. I need to water my plants. I've been really bad on my watering schedule lately. I feel bad for my plants. <laughs> okay, let's put this back. are like the same edges color can you guys tell what my favorite color palette is no huh <laughs> uh. just waiting for it to dry I guess I could take it off and start the next one, but I kind of just want to keep at this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, this feels so good. I can't wait to varnish this one. I really can't. <laughs> I need to get my website going. I really do. I'm gonna like... Anyway. 
anyways um i might go make some tea not right this second but maybe i'll take a brb like in like 20 minutes or so make some tea a little caffeine i feel like like this summer i was like trying to break my caffeine addiction or dependency i don't drink that much caffeine i drink like half a cup of half calf coffee in the morning <laughs> and then like a green tea um i don't know but i don't have a coffee maker when i go to school so <laughs> kind of feel like i should get one i don't know because that would i then i would spend far less coffee on like lattes when i go out because i do that way too much i don't know Okay, we have like three or four more paintings edges I want to paint and then and then we might do a painting or work on the commission. I haven't really decided yet. Good idea. Yeah, but then that's just like another thing that I have to pack up. I don't know. Actually, let me look. Speaking of things and dorms, um, friends, I have a wish list. <laughs> if you guys want to check it out, help me get anything. Any help means so much, but like you're not obligated at all, at all, at all, at all. Thing is, I don't want like a cure. I feel like the cure egg is probably the best thing, but I would have to get it with like the reusable pods. Cause I'm not, that plastic waste is like so upsetting to me. Um, I don't know, I'll look. But then I don't know if you can make half calf with that. I guess if you're using your own, cause then you can just use grounds. They make little small coffee makers these days, yeah. I'll think about it. I'm currently trying to figure out where my French press coffee maker got off to. Oh no, I hope you find it. Seven dollars? I feel like that's gonna break after one coffee. <laughs> but yeah, there are some cheap ones on Amazon too. Keurig is easy to use, but the pods are a money sink. Yeah. Oh my god, that is such a long link. I'm- I don't even know how you were allowed to send that. I have permissions off. I'm gonna delete it just from my end, if I can. Ha! How are you allowed to send that? It's not your fault. It's my fault. Just for safety, and also that is a long ass link. I'm deleting it, but I did save it. <laughs> I'm special, yeah, you are. You have a 22 month sub, that's why. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe if you get the reusable steel cups, you can put whatever in the cup. Yeah, exactly. I know for, what's the one that's not a Keurig, but is it a Keurig? Maybe it is. Felt like there were two machines that had the reusable pods. Maybe it's a Keurig, but like, I know you just have like, it's like a little mesh like thing that like looks like a cut, like a cup like a pod but like you can put your own grounds in it so then i could put my like half calf grounds i don't know i'll figure it out i'll think about it Yeah, that's how classic coffee makers work, yeah. But like, if I'm making a single serving of coffee, I don't really want to have to like use a coffee pot for it, you know? Stop making sound. Excuse you.
They do have single cup classics. Yeah, like, hmm, really? Single serving. Hmm, I'll look into it. Ooh, this one has, is like fully reusable. Oh, I'm like falling into a rabbit hole now. <laughs> okay, it is a Keurig that I was thinking of that had the reusable things. Try to find a purple one. That would be so damn cool. <laughs> Can you imagine? Does that exist? Maybe like Smeg. Is it Smeg? Their appliances are so damn cool. I will say for the larger normal classics, you can make a pot and fridge the rest for later. Um, yeah, that's true. Like they're durable. I just, I don't know. It's like, I think it's just too much coffee for me. Like I drink coffee, like mainly just for pleasure. Like it's not even for the caffeine. Like it's a little bit for the caffeine, but like I drink like half a cup of coffee a day. It's mainly just so I can save money on like going to cafes, which I'll still do, but not as much. Dash coffee? Okay, I will look that name up. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate it. I need to charge my Apple Watch. Wait, let me look this name up. All right, sorry. We have gotten so sidetracked from painting, but it's okay. I needed a second. <laughs> That's so cool. I like don't want too many appliances until I get an apartment because moving that shit back and forth to home is so annoying. <gasps> that is so awesome. I would totally get a mini waffle maker because that's so much easier than making pancakes. Ugh, I might have to get myself a mini waffle maker this year. I might. Is that the brand that makes those mini waffle makers? I remember the ones you guys were using. Okay. Look at the edges. Look at them. They look so good. Yeah. <laughs> I almost dropped it. It's fine. Also, I meant to make, meant to make the chat thought finger so that I can, if I can do that, so that I can see it when I'm like standing up further away. Cause I can see that messages were sent, but then I have to get closer to see them. Is that bigger? No, maybe a little bit. You're so sweet, I appreciate it. I honestly will probably end up getting my own. Okay, let's see if that's better. But then the thing is, okay, sorry, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> what size was it at? Okay, I think it was there. Okay. Three more, actually technically four, but I kind of want to do a lighter blue for the edges on this one. This one's tricky. Cause this one's very like washed and I don't want like the edge to be too bold. Let's see. You know what? This might work.
think I like this color. Actually, maybe I don't. <laughs> Which I think I'll have to do though, unless I can save it. Mm. Actually, I do. Okay. I still can't tell if I like this edge color. I think it's too different. Oh, this one's gonna look so good when it's varnished. Like, so when you put like water on it, like I just had to wash it off a bit, you like see how bright the color actually is. And that doesn't happen again until you varnish it. And it's just so satisfying when those colors finally pop back out. Ugh. And you don't even like really realize it until you varnish it. Cause like, it still looks beautiful but like there is like a depth of color missing that you don't realize until you varnish it. Edge colors, okay. This one's like my least favorite.
Do I get paint no on my glasses? You would be the only one. I can't tell. <laughs> You've got courage. Before you get a chance to fight with me, you must observe our rules. The sun's popping out. It's been a little gloomy today, but the lighting in the studio hasn't been too bad, so that's good. It's been an hour and a half. We've got, I've got so much done today already. This feels so good. I do think I'm gonna varnish off stream. But like, this feels so good. I'm like really trying to get as much like marketing stuff done as I can. Like I've been trying to get like, videos and photos of like all of my paintings so that I can like promote them even when I'm out of the studio. I just like, I need to like get a price sheet together and like really reformat my pricing and like make it fair to me and figure all of that out. I have lots to do, but it's all very exciting. Okay, I think I feel like I need to wash my hands. They're feeling a little like, Okay, I'm back. This one like literally just has like a little gap that needs to be painted. Wow, I almost perfectly matched that color. <gasps> oh, I'm proud of that.
This one's fuzz in it. Bro. I'm on a roll, baby. I have no idea what color to do for this one. It's probably either indigo or a green. I might do a green. I should probably have this color. I have like three bottles of teal. Jeez Louise. Four? Help me. Relax. Oh, I know exactly what color I need for this, but I don't think I have it. Oh, actually this might work. It's Thalo though, it's not teal. I could mix it. color but I don't think I have enough. It's like a phthalo green but it's blue shade. This is good though because it's helping me clear out this drawer and figure out what's empty. Also I have a bunch of empty phthalo blue bottles and something's leaking in here. Hello. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to mix it the best I can. No, it's mixing with one of my other colors. No!
cute. Okay, almost done with the last one. Actually, technically, I wanna do the last of Storm's edge, which is just one edge. But I might touch up the edges of it a little bit because it's a little splotchy and I really want it to be perfect. So I might go through, I'm gonna go do, through and do that. But then I think that's it for edges today and we might, and then I think we'll do a painting. We did how many today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I think we got like three or four done last stream because it was so chaotic in the best way. I had such an amazing time last stream. Oh my god. I'm so happy to be back in the studio doing studio streams. It feels so good. Okay, oh, I need to plug my laptop in. go okay I have some little buddies propagating on my desk right now um, I think they're gonna root long enough in time before I go you can see their little roots um, I put these in like two weeks ago so I think they'll be enough long enough to put them in soil before I leave um, But yeah, I have three jars of the jade pothos. These ones are doing really great. They're all doing great. And it's like literally sprouting off little leaves even while propagating. Like they're so healthy. And then I have, I forgot what this variation is called, but I put this in only a few days ago, so it hasn't even sprouted yet. I'm hope, I don't think it will in town time, so I'll probably have to like put them in a, like a bag with a moist paper towel to transport them. Um, but this plant had mealy bugs. I think I got all of it. <laughs> it was so stressful. I don't have, I have no idea how they even got bugs. Like I haven't gotten a new plant in forever. And I don't know, it was very weird. Um, but I think I have that under control. <laughs> it was not fun. Um, and I'm like so scared it's gonna spread to my other plants. I have been keeping a close eye on everything. Um, yes, I have a, I am, I don't really have much of a view, but it gets so much sunlight here that I don't even care. Like I'm kind of just staring at neighbor's houses. Um, I used to be able to see like the sunset really nicely, but the trees have grown so big that it's kind of overcrowded, but all that really matters to me is the sunlight for this room. Um, so like, that's the winning factor because it's, I don't know what side I'm facing, but I get really nice sun. Sun is so important to me. <laughs> like, uh, like, that's why I love my dorm room because it's south facing. So I get sun all the time, which is so nice. But yeah, the view is nothing special here, but I'm so grateful for it. Ooh, I went swimming yesterday. I went um, to family friends for dinner, which was so much fun. Um, and we went, got to swim in their pool. And I hadn't, I haven't swum in a pool in like over three years, so it was really fun. My sister and I got to hang out and swim in the pool. Um, my arms are, I feel like my arms are a little sore, which is nice. It's fun. 
I haven't been to the gym in like a month and a half. <laughs> My doctor told me it's okay to start doing it, but I'm still a little scared. Once I move back in and settle in, I'll probably start going. Even if I don't do weights, I'll just like cardio. <laughs> You know what to use? Swim, swam, and swam. Look at me. So cultured. <laughs> I don't know what a diphthong is, but I know how to use swim, swam, and swam. <laughs> I have a great view out of my window. That's so nice. I'm so excited for my view back in the city. Like, it is wonderful. Nice views are special. But as long as I have, like, direct sunlight or nice sunlight, I can pass up a view. Like, I'm so grateful for the light this studio gets. Because my bedroom, like, they all see me streaming from it. It does not get any direct sun, so it's just really cool light, like, the entire day. So it's, like, hard to be productive in there, honestly, sometimes, unless I'm sitting, like, right by the window. But, like, when I'm in my de at my desk, it just feels like I'm, like, in a dark corner. Like... I love sunlight so much, but I get cooked in it because of SSRIS. I don't know what that stands for, but yeah, I mean, like, the heat is not fun for me, but the sun is just so perfect. My mom was an English teacher, so I'm pretty good with English stuff. My mom's an English major, so I was, I've been very educated on proper English. <laughs> We were talking about the oh i thought my like that's what my brain like picked up but i couldn't remember if that was right or not okay interesting i didn't know that that affects like huh i did not know that hmm. okay one more edge I feel like I'm losing steam. I feel like I need a snack break. Kyle won't cook me. <laughs> we made oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip cookies this week. And they were delicious. It affects sun and heat tolerance. That's so interesting. I did not know that. Hmm. Medications are wild. Like, they're so beneficial, obviously. Like, I'm not discrediting any of it. Like, it's just like... I just... It's just like I did not know that side effect. That's like... Huh. I'm like violently heat intolerant now, so I will in heat. That sucks. I'm sorry about that. But I guess, like, the trade-off's definitely worth it. <laughs> like... Yeah, I'm sensitive to the heat, but not in, like to that extreme, obviously. But I much prefer cool weather. It's finally cooling down here. Like it weirdly is already starting to feel like fall. I think it is a high of 93 today, so, but it is like starting to feel nice. Like I'm packing like some fall clothes to bring back to the city and like, ooh, I'm so excited. I love fall and I'm honestly craving winter. Like I feel so productive during winter I don't know why, like I think, I don't know, because like I'm a little homebody and a lot of people don't make plans in the winter so it's like I just get to hang out at home and be productive, I don't know, I'm grateful for summer but also the summer has been a mess in general so I'm just ready for, to move on <laughs> from it, um, I'm excited. I'm really trying to keep good posture. I've been getting a lot better because my shoulders have been giving me issues and it's been spreading to my hands. So it's better now though. I'm doing a good job. Okay, friends, I'm gonna do a little promo. Sorry, I thought I'd... Um, trying to get better at doing this. So hi. Uh, 
Y'all know me. <laughs> Y'all have been watching this. If you like my art and want to support my art, my business is livetieart.etsy.com. I have original paintings, prints, tote bags, pouches, a lot of pride merch, a lot of amazing things. Any support on that shop means the absolute world to me. You are helping support me and my dreams and making it possible. So please check that out. And if you're interested in anything, please consider getting something. Um, I also have an Instagram, a TikTok, a YouTube. Following me and supporting me on all of those things mean the world. Really, really working hard on the YouTube again. So any support on that means so much to me. Thank you so much for being here. Pearl! Hi! How are you? We are doing art today! We're in the studio, baby! How are you? I hope you're doing amazing. But yeah, we're currently just working on painting the edges of some paintings. Um, oh my god, you can see how bad my posture is right there. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh my god. I thought I was doing good. God damn it. <laughs> um... But yeah, we're currently painting the edges of some of my paintings, and then we're gonna start work on a new painting. Um, but I'm just trying to get everything ready and like finished so that they can go off to collectors whenever that happens. Um, but yeah, it's been such a vibe. It's so good to see you. Liv looks a little strong. Strong? My I thought my posture was good. I curve my back too much. <laughs> I'm really trying my best. I really am. <laughs> that was so embarrassing though. That was so bad. That's better. But it was like that. Oh my god. Really? Is it like the like back things or like the like straps or is it something else? My chiropractor retired, so I <laughs> I have to go to like acupuncture again. I have no idea. I have been doing a good job at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's smart though. Like those things work. Posture is so important. I like, I was talking to my dad about this because like, I don't know. I like was it when i was a kid he like he instilled good posture in me like my entire life but like when i was a kid i don't know if anyone else relates to this but like when i was like a little kid in classes or like even just like in primary whatever school like i would be the only kid that would have good posture and i'd look around and then like everyone was slouching and i would feel insecure of like sitting up straight or people used to like pick on people for sitting up straight and so i stopped doing it and i feel like that just instilled such a bad habit in me like ugh. <laughs> like and now it's like i constantly have to correct it but also like my chronic pain makes some stuff so tight it's hard to keep things open but i'm working on it <laughs> i don't think it's for everyone though my par partner is a trans guy and it made him feel a little dysphoric putting it on yeah that totally makes sense i feel like trans mask people also sometimes like hunch to like you know like i definitely catch myself doing that and i know my friends do too like yeah, I totally get that. It's all whatever makes you feel comfortable. I feel like I should try that though. <laughs> I also didn't do yoga today, so that's part of it. My watch died. <laughs> I need to plug it in. Okay, it's break over. I'll, t I'll get up at two, two hour mark. <laughs> I need to sit. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like doing studio streams is so good for me too, though, because, like, it makes me stand up. <laughs> I think it felt too close to a binder for him. I think they have other things that help with posture, too. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That makes sense, because, like, the pressure and, like, yeah. Yes, I am. So I just got a MacBook um, for school mainly, um, but I also desperately needed a new uh, laptop. So like through Mac, you can like just stream from your phone camera, like wireless. So that's the secondary camera. I'm using my MacBook webcam, which is 1080p um, as the main camera. It is amazing. Like 
Ugh, I'm so happy. Like, this is game changing. Like, truly. Like, I wish I got this, like, earlier in the summer so that we could be doing studio streams all summer because, like, I literally move Saturday. <laughs> but, yeah, it's an amazing setup. It is so good. Like, it, like, all of the hiccups, like, with, like, using a desktop. Oh, my God. Ugh. <sighs> You stay on the move. I know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm so excited, but like, there's so much packing to do. There's so much stuff. I almost fit all of my clothes in a carry-on suitcase though. I don't know how that happened, but it's working. <laughs> I was a little worried about trying that, but it looks so good. Do you have a Mac? Um, It's amazing. I highly recommend it. Like, incredible. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm gonna have to use a duffel bag for like more bulky stuff, like sweaters and like hoodies and like my winter coat. But like, I could fit almost all of, like, I fit 10 pairs of pants and 20 shirts in a carry on suitcase and like four sweaters. I don't know. <laughs> but I was like, why don't you try this suitcase? Because I have to bring the suitcase with me anyways, because it's for traveling. But I do have a Mac, but I use a PC. I was talking more about using the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, cause I was having trouble with the desktop, like, because you have to use like a secondary like capture, if that makes sense. Like I was using like a website, but I know there's apps and I know sometimes like the quality isn't great. Like I was doing that for a while and it was like really frustrating. Um, stream elements, hush. <laughs> the nice thing about like this setup is like it's fully wireless and since it's a Mac product it doesn't like degrade the quality at all like the lighting's not great so it's not perfect but like yeah I know there are some apps that like work with the transfer to PC though but like I'm so grateful for this setup like obviously the desktop is still I use it so much but like this is so nice for like being able to like have it be portable and like do stuff in my studio like and be able to stream is just so amazing because I literally haven't been able to do this in almost like two and over two and a half years that looks so good thank you I'm I think it's great it's so much fun oh my god stop it okay <laughs> yeah okay we work do we do things I think we do things we're so close to being done with edges for today I have so many paintings to varnish. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to open a window. <laughs> oh my God. Yesterday I was varnishing a painting and I like got fuzz on it and I was stressing out so much and I had to like wash it off. And, oh, it was so bad. Um, oh my gosh but we've been productive. I'm getting so much stuff done before I go. Like, I have to decide what paintings I'm bringing with me because I want to bring a few. There's a market I might apply for that looks amazing um, and I want to bring some paintings for future markets. I don't know if, uh, fees always stress me out because it's like 300 something dollars. Don't know if I'll make that back but it looks like a really great organization and like, uh, it's two days. So that's a little bit better for the price because that's average New York City market price. Um, I don't know, I might take my chances. I might as well apply because it's like a $25 application fee. And like, if I don't get it, I don't get it. And it's in October, so it gives me money, like time to make that money or whatever. I don't know, I think I'm gonna do it. I've been thinking about it all day. Cause I, like, I swear like Instagram's listening to me. It probably is. Cause we were talking about markets last stream. So like I'm getting targeted ads more of like markets in New York city, which is perfect. Cause I have like a whole list now, but it's just like, I don't take the initiative and apply for them. This one does provide you a table though, which is nice. Cause a lot of them, you have to bring your own tables. <laughs> I don't know. It's so much to figure out, but I feel like I really want to keep doing it or start doing it more. I don't know. <laughs> Shit's crazy. Things are so expensive, but it's an investment. Like, 
I don't know. I'll keep thinking about it. It just feels so perfect because we were literally talking about it last stream and then this popped up. Okay, one more edge on this one and then uh, then we finish Storm and then we do an actual painting. Side note, what? Don't be up to anything. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I just found a rag like in the back. That's why the drawer wasn't closing. I'm super excited for my... Pearl, you did not! Pearl, what did you do? Did you get a poster? I typed Etsy wrong. I feel like it would look good in my office. Stop it, that's so damn cool. I would be honored to have a poster in your office, what? Your office looks so good and the fact that you would put something of mine in there, oh my goodness. I will literally ship it out tomorrow <laughs> if you order it. <laughs> Did it work? I think. That would literally make me so happy. No, oh, wait, it didn't connect. Excuse you. I just got the notification. Pearl! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Pearl, thank you so much. I will literally ship that to you tomorrow. Like literally, so fast, so quick. <laughs> thank you so much, that means the world to me. You're amazing, I appreciate it so much. Oh. And it's pride themed, it was meant to be literally. Wait, let me grab it. <laughs> I think this is one of the last ones left. Yeah, no, I literally have my inventory box of all of my prints right next to my desk. <laughs> I love this one. This one's like one of my early, early ones. I like did a redesign, which is like the newer one, but I love this one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pearl. Um, I can measure it. I can't remember exactly what it is. I think it's, it's 10 by, oh my God, how do I not know my measurements? I think it's 12 by nine. I'm getting in a frame right now, okay. Let me not give you a guess then. <gasps> You're gonna frame it! Okay, hold on. Where is a ruler? <laughs> I don't know where anything is in my studio. I'm such a mess. Um, <laughs> give me a sec. <laughs> I think it's 10, 12 by nine? Cause that's a 10 by 12 print. Hold on. Where the fuck is a ruler? <laughs> I'm such a mess. Pearl, did you see the clip I posted today? I don't know if you've seen it. If not, I recommend you watch it. <laughs> Cause that just, it just gives you an idea of what me and my studio is like. It's this, hold on. <laughs> It 
probably does say in it. I could just look up, look in there, but. Okay, it is 10 by 12. Yeah. Yeah, it's 10 by 12. <laughs> I think that might be the last one. Live your laugh makes my day. <laughs> thank you, that's so sweet. I'm glad. Seriously, Pearl, thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you to get this. Yeah, there's one other of those left. That's crazy. This is <laughs> my inventory box. It has all of my prints in it and all of my stuff. Um, I sold two tote bags yesterday, so I officially have one tote bag left, which is so crazy. I'm working out what design to get next, um, but things like, thank you so much. Like seriously, like the support lately has been incredible and like, Y'all are all a part of that, so thank you. Ah, that's so exciting. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, do I do things? Welcome to a studio stream where I get barely anything done. I think I found the frame. I wanna see it when you frame it. Oh, that's so exciting. framed one of my works before. I kind of want to do it. That feels special. <laughs> Did I just get paint on my face? No. <laughs> There's paint on my glasses, or there was yesterday from last stream. It'll get there by Wednesday? Wait, that's so fast. I hope it gets there that fast. If I send it out tomorrow. Oh, the frame will be there Wednesday. I think you're talking about the frame. Never mind. If you frame your stuff yourself, you could totally increase the price. Yeah, I know. I've been thinking about it. I mean, like, I need to increase my prices anyways. Not for prints, but for paintings. <laughs> Framing paintings is a whole other ordeal, though. And you'll have the control of how it sits in someone's space. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I definitely think I might, like do like a few frames or something. I don't know. I want to try it. Or even like thrifting frames. And so each frame is like unique. I don't know. There's ideas. I want to paint frames. There's this artist. Um, I forget what her username is. Ugh. She's incredible though. And she like does like rainbow painted frames and it's beautiful. Right? Like, I feel like that's so cool. Like, getting, like, vintage frames that have, like, the, like, you know, like, ornamental stuff and, like... Oh, what's her name? Oh, it's Anne Upton Art. Um, I'll type it out. 
she's amazing. She's so cool. But she buys like vintage frames and paints them like rainbow. And she does mirrors too. Oh, speaking of rainbow, um, I haven't shown this piece much because I didn't like it for the longest time, but I have this rainbow painting. <laughs> I need to put this on Instagram and put it on my Etsy. Oh, she dusty. I actually need to varnish this too. <laughs> it's very experimental, very different than what I typically do, but it's fun. Thank you, I appreciate it. I like painted it and then didn't like it and then put Sharpie on it and now I like it. <laughs> it's like similar to like my funky doodles, but like in a painting, which is fun. She's insane. She made a Barbie disco ball out of a plate. I didn't see that. That's so cool. No, her, she's so incredible. Like she's been such a big inspiration of mine. I've been following her for so long. Like she's been a huge like inspiration. I kind of want to reach out to her and see if she'd ever like give me any advice. I don't know, but yeah, she's really cool. Thank you, you're so sweet. Okay, what next? This one? Last one for today at least. Yeah, like the gold leaf. I want to try that at some point. Ow, I just poked myself. There's like a mounting wire on this, so I just poked, poked myself with it. Ugh, that makes me nervous. I don't know if any of this is wet. I don't think it is. I need to like sand this down. <laughs> there is so much like gunk in this tray from like so many paintings, like canvas gets stuck to it. <laughs> Okay, my favorite painting. Here, I feel like, no! Oh my God, there's so many paintings that I like can barely move my can. Easel, easel, no, tripod. The dangers of a studio space it is such a blessing but this was a death trap before I organized it when I started stream because there was it, the <laughs> it's such a mess pearl <laughs> I appreciate that so much. Wait, I didn't mean to turn that off. I meant to turn this off. Oops. Thank you so much. You're so kind. I appreciate it so, so much. You're amazing. Thank you. You're adding to my space. It's the least I can do. Please. Oh, thank you so much, truly. Like, that is so kind of you. I really appreciate it. Oh, my heart. You are too kind. Thank you so much. Hi Google, how's it going? It's good to see you again. Hi friend, welcome back. Seriously Pearl, that is so kind of you. Oh, you're amazing, thank you so much. Hey, don't you dare Pearl, hey, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> you are perfect. No, that's not gonna work. Okay, I need actual paint. I actually might use heavy bodies for this. Okay, do y'all want a paint lesson? 
I feel like I should explain this because I like I need we need like a vocab sheet for all of the things I talk about on stream. Um, oh my god, I got paint on my trackpad. Nightmare. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> um, let me show you guys the different paints I use. Um, because I talk about this and I know probably most of you don't know what it means. So, <laughs> welcome to Live Lessons. Um, oh my god, wait, that's such a cool name. Live Lessons, like Life Lessons, but... I need to remember that. <laughs> um, haven't happened to sit on any paint today, have you? No, not today. <laughs> that needs to be a segment. I <sighs> Actually though, Live Lessons, isn't that... That's such a good podcast name or like a YouTube series. Stop. <laughs> I actually need to write that down though. I, oh, I have my little idea journal. This is the journal I keep with me everywhere that I write my ideas down in and it's on my floor. <laughs> Lives life lessons. <laughs> Um, for context for all, I don't know if you saw the clip, but I sat on, um, Liv's live lessons, like, and it could be like an advice segment or something. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I love this. Ah! Stop it. This is so fun. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. <laughs> Y'all are the best. Um, but yeah, for context, I don't know if you saw the clip, Pearl, but I sat on a bottle of paint last stream. I don't know if I told you that. Okay, so. Welcome to Liv's Lessons. Liv's Live Lessons. <laughs> um, Liv's Live Life Lessons. That's like an alliteration. <laughs> um, okay, so. Um, lovely Liv Love Life Lessons. <laughs> How many L's can we fit into this sentence? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Um, okay, paints. So I use three main different types of paints. They're all acrylic. Um, we'll go in order. So this is heavy, or no, this is high flow acrylics. So these are like, it's giving live, laugh, love. It really is. I want to make ironic live, laugh, love merch one day. Lovely lives, love, live, life, love lessons. <laughs> it's like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, but this. I also said that right. Look at me. Right? I did. I would live for that, please. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do it one day. One day. Okay, paints. So this is high flow acrylic. It's like liquidy and it like drips. So that's what I use. Like when you see a lot of the drips in my paintings, like in here, like this is all high flow acrylics. Um, I've been using that for the edges of the paintings cause it's been really easy for coverage cause it's super thin. Um, and just like tr easy to spread. Um, and this is golden brand. I don't know if anyone cares about the brands, but then the next level up is basic acrylics, which are like thinner acrylic paints. They're not like the highest quality, but they're good for like spread, like the type of art I do because um, it takes a lot of paint. So it's like nicer to have like kind of thinner paint because it's easier to like move across the canvas and it's easier for like, it's cheaper. And like the coverage isn't amazing. The pigment isn't like a hundred percent. Kind of some of the best pigment you can get is heavy body, which are heavier paints. They're thicker, they're typically what I use for like my landscape pieces because I use it to like mix with the primary colors. Um, so this is like a thicker paint, but I don't use this in my abstract paint too much, abstract work too much because it's really thick and it's expensive. I have been considering using it a bit more because the pigment is really good. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like when you hear me talking about things like basics, this liquid or flow is this and this is heavy. Um, just thought I'd explain that <laughs> but that's all for what is it called lives lessons lives live lessons <laughs> I'm assuming anything that ha that heavy is more expensive yeah because it's like really nice pigment it's light fast I think 
yeah um and these come in like multiple like there's levels of pigmentation and like quality so like it's from like series one to like there's, there's like series 1a to like seven and they get more and more expensive like this bottle of paint is like ten dollars this is like six dollars and this this is a little expensive too but it lasts um does it take longer to dry it honestly dries faster this drives faster because it's so thick um like it's almost like sticky in a way if you don't like mix it with water it dries faster because it's like heavier um but acrylic dries so fast in general like it can dry like within an hour not even like sometimes it's drying like as i'm painting it this probably dries the quickest or the longest because it's so thin and watery lives life lessons with lindberger who the fuck is lindberger <laughs> Yeah, paints are fun. Paints are interesting, and I'll 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 use acrylic, um, just because it's non toxic, and oils intimidate me <laughs> for a lot of reasons, but and acrylic's cheaper. But yeah, um, as long as you're not mixing, are you talking about the light one or the flow one? Which one? The heavy one um it has better coverage for sure so like when i'm using like when i because i mainly use it in like um realistic work so like this one is all heavy body this is one of my favorite paintings um but this is all heavy body acrylic so like the coverage is good the pigment's really good um it is easier to work with because the pigment like goes further um i love mixing with these ones though because i'll like i usually use just red yellow blue yeah uh white and then mix all of my own colors so this is all mixed from four tubes of paint um and i think like the quality of the paint is far better to do that than using this like this is horrible for mixing colors honestly um if you're mixing with just the primaries it's honestly a mess <laughs> i think because like the opacity of them aren't great um some of the colors like red red and yellow are really hard to get good pigments and cheaper paints um so like those are good to get in heavy bodies um but yeah this was all mixed from the primaries and white thank you i love this painting so much i need to get it scanned i'm gonna bring it back to school with me and get it scanned, then varnish it, make some prints of it and get it framed. This is gonna be the first painting I get framed because it needs a frame. <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure out how much to charge for this one. I don't know. It took me like 40 hours. <laughs> This painting so much we might i don't think we're gonna work on a realism painting today if you frame it double the thing is i struggle with it because it's such a small painting but i know how much it should be priced but it's such a small painting and i don't know if anyone would pay for it for that small of a painting but also like believe in yourself know your worth like i'd rather have a painting that doesn't sell then sell it for too little and feel like bad about it you know how much i'd pay to be smaller please pearl <laughs> god damn it <laughs> also the sun is starting to set this angle is so weird don't discount yourself yeah yeah i think i know <laughs> I have to figure that out but yeah I have an idea for the frame too oh my god okay like I don't know if it would be too busy but because that's a painting of the Adirondacks honestly this full idea just popped in my head right now um <laughs> because it's a painting of the Adirondacks I don't know if you guys know like Adirondack style furniture and frames I want I don't know if it would be too busy I feel like I need a simple frame but I still kind of want like 
wood from the Adirondacks to be the frame. That's such a cool idea. Sorry, I'm just spitballing ideas right as we're talking now, because <laughs> that's so damn cool. Um, yeah, but that painting means a lot to me. I actually, you know, two people redeemed Take a Breath and I missed it, or Hydrate. <sighs> but what if I don't want to take a breath? What if I don't want to breathe? <laughs> thank you, and thank you for the Hydrate. I actually need to go fill up my water soon. It's been two and a half hours. I swear I like looked like 10 minutes ago and it was an hour and a half. I'm glad I started stream earlier. We're probably gonna start at this time more often when I'm doing studio streams. Not like we're gonna be doing too many of these until December, but. <laughs> I'm definitely doing a studio stream tomorrow though. Wednesday, it's either studio or uh, paleo. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get another stream in before I move, because Thursday and Friday are like packing days. We'll see. I appreciate that, Chandler. Yeah, I don't know. I have to figure it out. I love my work so much though. It's so fun just being like surrounded by it. Like it's just all right here, like over a hundred pieces. And it's very fun. Like, oh, it looks so good right now. Um, like going through this entire process cause I'm getting all these paintings ready for whenever they find their forever home, which just like feels very special. I don't know. Okay. So, oh my god, do I not have any red? This is red, but it's empty, barely, almost. Okay. I know you can't see my palette right now, but... That's perfect, okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about like switching more of my materials for abstract paintings to heavy bodies because they're like their pigment is incredible. Like actually in the painting we were just working on, the blue and orange one, that one I used a little bit of heavy body in because I wanted a specific color and it was really cool. So I might start mixing it in a bit more. It's already looking so much better. I need to refresh this water though because I've been working with so many blue paintings that the water is so blue hued now. Ugh. Oh my god. No, why would I do that? I just put the wet paintbrush on the chair I sit on. Excuse me. No. God damn it. It's so hard being me. No, <laughs> I'm not trying to. Oh, 
also it's day but no worries you're fine <laughs> where did i put the red bottle of paint okay No, you're fine. Don't worry about it, girl. No worries. I never know, you can't see it per like from this angle, but there's little white gaps like between the edge of the painting and the painting. Like it's technically on the surface of the canvas and I just don't know if I should cover it or not because it's not gonna match exactly how it was, but I think the white space is annoying. I don't know. Are you wearing a purple patchwork overall? I am! You wanna see it? <laughs> These are my favorite. I only have one pair of overalls, so I probably shouldn't say my favorite overalls. Um, but yes, they are purple patchwork overalls. Say that fast, three times. Oh my God, is this knotted? But these are like ones I'm okay with getting paint on because I technically have two pairs. Oh my God, my earbuds just fell out. But yeah, they're overalls. They're so cute. I got these on Etsy, and I've had so many people um, ask if, like where I got them, and they're amazing. Um, stop. Oh my god, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm hating so hard right now. I almost got a Purple Patrick overall and instead opted for this dress. I really want one. Get it. <laughs> I have a second pair. <laughs> I can send them to you. No, they're on Etsy. They're like... 40 bucks? I can send you the link after stream if you want. They're amazing. They have other colors too. <laughs> I will dig through my Etsy later. I need to just like, I need to just like pin this link because the amount of people that ask, like, I kind of want to get another color eventually. But yeah, they're amazing. They're so comfy. <laughs> I will, I'll send it to you after stream. You can DM me to remind me if you want now so I can make, double make sure to do it after stream. But yeah, my, I got these for Christmas and my mom accidentally got two pairs and didn't feel like returning them. So now I have two pairs. So one of them is like, I'm okay with ruining it and getting paint on them. And the other one's like the perfect ones. <laughs> Honestly, I've given this Etsy shop so much business. <laughs> I love Etsy people. I love small business owners. We're so cool. <laughs> I love people that make things and sell them. Can you get a referral links on Etsy? The only way, not really, like, cause it's like everyone's shop is so individual. There's also no way to track. No, there's no way. That would be cool. <laughs> Etsy actually just, um, this is not fully related, but it made me think of it. Etsy just made a feature 
where you can bid on art now. Like if a shop owner opts to, they can have it so that you can like put what price you want to pay at a discount. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen something like it before, but I think it's something you could use like at almost like bidding. So like if you list a painting and then people put how much they'd buy it for and then you pick the person that pay, like wants to pay the highest. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I want to check it out. Etsy is like cool and like the thing, like they are innovating some new things, which is fun. I still, I still really want to like, I still really want to, actually, you know why? I'm pretty sure the new CEO, no, I know this. I think the CEO, some official person of Etsy used to be the like, executive on ebay so like that does make sense i did a huge research project on etsy for my business class <laughs> i think i bought my first etsy thing on my first thing on etsy last night oh my gosh that's so cool oh that's awesome what did you get if you want to share but yeah i i really want to get like sell my paintings off of etsy like this off of etsy because the fees are insane and I want it to be more personalized. Like, I don't know. Like, I think I'll keep my prints and merchandise like on Etsy for now, but I want my paintings to be on a separate website because like they're more expensive and like, I don't know, it just feels better to me. I'm still trying to figure out like the logistics of that because I hit a road bump, but a rhinestone tumbler I love that. No, that's so you. Are you kidding me? That is the best thing ever. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Oh my god. <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, we're gonna go on here since I'm just holding it. Is it like custom or you can get like your name on it? Sometimes it's easier. <gasps> that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so impressive. That was so random, but they are. Can your abs be sore from swimming? This fits so much better. Oh, I'm so excited. of this painting or we get prints of this painting I really want to do another print run and I want to get new tote bags it's just figuring out financially what to do first <laughs> or what not to do I don't know but also if I start getting into markets I need more stuff if you ever threw rhinestones onto a painting okay I don't know if I'd ever do rhinestones. I'd never say never, but I have seen like something where like people put crystals on their paintings and I want to do that so bad because like a lot of my paintings are very spiritually influenced and like, are you kidding? Like some ameth amethyst and like quartz on a painting. Oh, I want to do that so bad. Custom piece. <laughs> I would totally do rhinestones. <laughs> I 
I've actually never really worked with rhinestones before. My partner would love that, hell yeah. I don't know, I feel like that's just like aligns so much with the work I do. I feel like it would be so cool. I think it's done. I messed up a little bit right there. Oh, that water's so blue. Okay, I need to refresh it. Oh my god, I think it's ready to be varnished. sides are wet. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm putting it on the stool for now. Actually, mm, <laughs> I need another, like, table in here. Okay, that works for now. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands because it's covered in red paint. Oh my god, literally look at this. It is, like, all over. <laughs> um, no, I might get a snack. We'll do a little sit again. <laughs> I need my little sits and burst. Okay, real quick, I'll be right back. Oh shit. Wait, I actually just clicked disconnect from the phone thing. I meant to pause it. Crap, I hope I didn't mess that up. Because I messed it up earlier. Shit. Oh crap. Oh no. I did this earlier. And I had to like restart my computer to get it to work. Fuck. Uh oh. I meant to click pause. Damn, it's almost been three hours. Oh my god. Time is flying, it really is. Every time I look at the thing, I'm like, how has it been that long? No idea. Excuse you. <laughs> okay. I hope I can get this to work today again. If not, I guess we can just use this angle. Like this isn't too bad on its own. I just messed up by clicking the wrong button. See if it works if I just restart my phone instead of just the computer, or instead of both with the computer. It's already five. I'm so confused. Today went by so fast. <laughs> like what? Okay, that's wild. I really wanted to do a painting on stream today, but now I don't know if we even have the time. I guess we could, I don't need to be anywhere for another like hour. I don't know if I have something in my head right now though. I really want to do a painting with the green color palette again, like a deep green, and I also have a, another color palette in my head. I don't have any like strong feelings right now though. Hmm. I'll unwrap the canvas and then see how I feel, because <laughs> that sometimes sparks something.
There we go. Okay, now it's connected. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick BRB and get some water and probably a snack. Um, and then we'll decide if we're gonna keep going or stop. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, hi friends, I'm back. The sun is beaming in through this window. <laughs> I guess that makes sense because it's around this time that I it started last stream, but I started stream later last stream. Hmm. Oh, I wanna show you guys. I don't know, I think I showed this at the beginning of stream, but this is the commission I'm working on right now. I need to work on this again tomorrow, maybe tonight. <laughs> I just dropped it. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. But yeah. I've been so creative today. I've done so much. Hmm. I think we might try the first layer of a painting to see how I'm feeling. Um, 
and then go from there. That's another one that should be framed. Yeah, I, I'm sending this to a family friend um, so they could frame it. Um, but yeah, this isn't like for sale. <clears throat> oh my God. I have like oats stuck in my throat. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they'll probably end up framing it. Um, but yeah, it's just on cardboard since I'm painting it somewhere to mount it, but it's very out of my comfort zone. I don't know that I've, I've definitely painted a beach before, but not recently and not with gouache. Oh, it's growing on me. It still needs a little work, a lot of work maybe, but it looks so good in the sun. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Now I'm just doing show and tell. <laughs> um, but this is like one of my first, first, first abstract paintings and I had prints of it made like the early stages of my shop transitioning to prints. This is like the last one left. So crazy. It's like, I have like an original series of print, of like abstract paint, paintings that came before this entire style. It's kind of crazy, I don't know. There's like over 150 paintings in this studio. That's insane. Okay, honestly, I don't think we're doing a painting today. I'm losing steam. I can't believe it's been three hours. I truly don't understand how it's been three hours. <laughs> um. So I think we might just chill, maybe do a few other studio maintenance things, but I don't want to push it. I need to be in a certain headspace to do an abstract painting and I don't think I'm in it right now. <laughs> I don't have like a distinct idea. And sometimes like you don't, I don't need to and something will just like happen, but I don't know if I'm in that space right now. I don't know, I'm very like, I don't know, there's a very specific like regimen for my abstract paintings. And I know that probably sounds like a little, I hope that doesn't sound pretentious, but like, also, I don't know, it's like kind of nerve wracking to do it live. I don't know. It's a very like personal process. And I think we could do it. I will do it live on stream. We've done it before, I think. I mean, we could. could do some touch-ups on the pond piece for a little bit. That makes sense. I can't work on showgirl stuff unless I'm in the right headspace also. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like, you have to like tap into a specific energy. Where did I put that painting? How do I lose things? in the functionality of my brain. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just, uh... You're literally me. <laughs> it is right in front of me. Hmm. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. No, no, no. I could have just have had something in my hand and lost it and I'm three, yes, no, oh my God. I do that all the time. I literally couldn't find my phone and it was right in front of my face. The other day I lost my AirPod, like my earbuds, AirPods, I call them AirPods, they're not actually AirPods, but I looked everywhere for the case and I like couldn't find it. I thought it, it fell out of my pocket on a walk. I was like, like nearly crying, basically crying. And it was under a pillow. It was like the one sliver of space I didn't look under. 
it had like got slid under a pillow. I don't know. It was absurd. <laughs> kind of want to do a full rework here. Okay. Is that a helicopter? It is. Okay. I kind of, so this painting I did like a year and a half ago. It's like of a view at my cabin because I do a lot of landscape pieces from there. Hold on, I need to move this. Um, and I don't like, hold on, can I take the phone? Is this gonna make y'all dizzy? Probably. But, kind of wanna show you, oh yeah, my hand's shaky. This is not good, Never mind. Never mind. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna do that so y'all don't have to watch the shakiness. Um, so I think it could use some work because I was a very different skill level when I first made this. Actually, I'm just going to move this here. Excuse me. You good? So this, the trees are like too clumpy. It doesn't actually look like leaves. It just looks like paint speckles. So I want to fix that. The water doesn't look like water fully to me. Um, it needs more depth. I don't know. Like, I think it's fun. I think it's good, but I think there's more I could do, but I'm also kind of nervous to go back into it. But also that has been so beneficial. Okay, now I'm doing show and tell again. <laughs> but. worked on like two years ago and then abandoned it because I didn't like it and then I finished it this summer oh I forgot I did that this summer um <laughs> and now it's one of my favorite pieces I think it's incredible so all of this to say I think it would be beneficial to go back into this piece because my skill level has changed so much and I think I could fix it but the thing is I feel like I need to redo almost all of it <laughs> <laughs> Which is a lot. This might be something we tackle another stream. This really might be. To redo what? Basically all of it. <laughs> I just, I don't know. The water needs some work. This needs some work, because this is supposed to be a reflection, but it looks, it doesn't look like a reflection, it just looks like a continuation. I don't know. And I, I'm a little worried about just messing it up more, so I don't know <laughs> if I should. I do not know. I cannot decide. Huh? Sorry, just got a weird email. Anyways, gosh, it's so sunny. I guess what I could do. down a bit so it's not like in my face oh my god I forgot how finicky these are that worked okay <laughs> yay look at me figuring things out gosh these streams are so chaotic I don't know I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> oh my god, stop it. Okay, I do think I should wrap up soon. I'm so sorry. I've been all over the place at the end of this stream, which means I probably should just stop. <laughs> and we will do a painting tomorrow on stream. I've gotten basically all the maintenance stuff I want to get done done. So tomorrow we're either doing an abstract painting or working on this painting. I swear. <laughs> um, I know exactly who we're raiding. I also have a raid message for y'all. So anyone that's not lurking, um, I have a raid message. I don't know how many people are active, but I have a raid message idea for this person. Um, <laughs> thank y'all so much for the good vibes today. Y'all are incredible. I've had such an amazing time. Pearl, thank you so much for buying a print and thank you so much for the thousand bits. You're incredible. I appreciate your support so, so much. Thank y'all friends so much for hanging out. I've had an amazing, amazing, an amazing, amazing time. Uh, I will be live tomorrow and we're gonna do more studio stuff. Um, yeah, truly thank you guys so much for everything. Y'all are amazing. The best I could ever ask for. Um, yeah, I can't wait for the rest of this week. I'm so excited. Okay, we are reading. Do I know her username by heart? Yep. <laughs> We're reading Art and Jest. She's an amazing streamer. We've raided her before. Um, the best vibes, the best community, like such an inspiration. Um, so much chaos and love and good vibes there. And I know it's the perfect space to bring y'all to. Um, seriously, thank you guys so much for all of the support today and all the love. I love doing these streams so much. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, should we do a special raid call? I don't know how many people we've got. We'll skip it. Just copy my raid call and use the emotes if you'd like. It would mean the world. Um, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for the good vibes. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, thank you guys for everything. This was so much fun. Um, yeah, truly thank you all so much. I don't know how many times I can say it. Like I could say it forever. <laughs> So have an amazing rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for the love and support. Let's go give some love to Art and Jest and her amazing, amazing community. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.